people of pressure in the house and the noise was unreal. Um, as I looked out the window and lightning would flash, all I could see was white. And, I, and I'm assuming that was wind, I don't know, because I couldn't see anything else. Uh, my husband Ian was out to work on the rigs that night and when he got home early in the morning he grabbed me he said you've got to come you should see what's going on in the countryside and so we hopped in the truck and headed up north we started across the dam road and and stopped at copper church which uh, was gone copper church church had completely blown away so we stopped there and we walked around the grounds and and ian walked a little further out and he found the pulpit and so um not really thinking, I guess. He took the pulpit and we brought it back in and set it in the church where it, where it would have normally been. And um, not anticipating some of the challenges that came after that where people thought that the church had blown away but the pulpit had stayed where it was. First we had help from the town itself. They uh, they uh, like supplied a turkey that I could cook for the Mennonites that came out. And there was a crew of, oh, must have been a dozen of them. And they were, they were excellent. Like they just cleaned up everything one day and, and then I fed them supper and, and uh, they were just wonderful. Our fire department was fabulous, like there was no, they were fantastic. They were at every single house. I think they were at our house probably within half an hour of everything stopping. 